All right, for our tiny house project, we're going to be using homestyler.com. So you'll want to hit the link in the Canvas post in order to get there. Once you're there, you need to log in. Over in the top right-hand corner, there should be a sign-in option. You'll want to log in with your Google account. Once you do that, you can begin designing. So you'll go over to start a design or some similar feature, depending on where your login is. You may have to hit, um, it may take you directly to a screen like this that says create new design. You're gonna create a new design and we're going to do this in a plan view. Plan view is like a bird's eye view that shows us the space plan. To get started with the room, we're going to use the dimensions given in the project guidelines, which is a 30 by 10 foot tiny house. We're gonna click on this create a room and use the draw room tool. We don't want to use the by edge, wall setting, or by center. Choose draw room. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click out here on the grid, just tap with your finger, and then use your mouse to slide that room out until it is 30 by 10 or close to it. You can always adjust later. So it's pretty close. If I, let's say I go ahead and click to finish off that room, okay? What I still need to do is go up here. See how that is still blue? That means it's still in the draw room function. I don't want that. So I'm gonna go and look at my room in 3D real quick. And that will take that from being blue and turn it white again, that's what we want. So now we have our room drawn, okay? I'm gonna go back to the plane view right here where I can see it from above. I'm gonna click on my number. This is 30 feet by, we want it to be 10 feet. So that says nine feet, 10 inches. I can just double click that. Should be able to double click. Oh, it's on the wall, sorry. Okay, when I click on the wall then, huh. Oh, there I see, okay. See how this made it blue down here at the bottom? Now I need to click on this wall to get this one. So over here on this box, I need to hit 10 feet, enter. And so now I have a room that is 30 feet by 10 feet. So you'll wanna start there. From there, it is your job to design an amazing tiny house that has all the features that you would want. And you wanna think about space planning. You wanna think about all the things that would be um, required in a tiny house. Not when you're minimalizing your space and when you're using um, a small area like this, you can't have everything that we would put in a 2,500 or 3,000 square foot home. We have to really think about what the necessities would be. And we also have to think about multi-purpose furniture, things that will be used as a sofa, but then also as a bed or maybe even as storage. So multi-purpose pieces are wonderful for this. You also want to think about the doors that you put in, um, making them like pocket doors that fit inside of the wall or a barn door that slides. The fewer doors that you have that swing open and close, the better. In order to add other rooms, you would go back up to your create a room, draw a room, and then you could simply like draw a bathroom right in this corner area. Over on the side here, you have all your tools, your building settings that are gonna have things like your moldings, wall openings, doors, windows, and baseboards. Over here, we have our catalog full of furniture. So it's going to have things like the tables, chairs, kitchen appliances, bathroom, toilet, shower, sinks, stuff like that. Down here, we have our style. That's going to be where you add your wall color, your flooring, and other decorative details, okay? So I'm not actually going to do all that for you today. I want you to just play with this program and uh, figure things out on your own a little bit. But I am going to show you an example of a project that I have done previously. So I'm going to go up here to File, Open. I don't really need to save what I've been working on. You would save your work, but I don't need this room, so I'm not going to save it. I'm gonna open a previous design. So I have some pretty cool designs in here that I've done for other classes. This is something I did on my own. It was my dream classroom that I designed. Then 
I have the construction trades house that the construction trades class is building. I've got a couple designs of it also. What I'm gonna show you is my tiny house. This was just a template I made last year to share with my students. So it's just like this, the space that we have previously designed, 20 by 30 tiny house. What I've done is I've added a doorway to enter the home. So I come into the home, off to the right hand side, we have the kitchen area. I've got a sink over here in front of a window. This is like a bay window that sticks out a little bit. And that sink is designed to be used by both the kitchen and the bathroom. There's a sliding door that opens up to go into the bathroom where we have a corner shower, a toilet, and then a stacking washer and dryer. Back in the kitchen area, you have your sink here, a corner cabinet, stove, mini refrigerator, and you've just got to keep things small because this is a very small space. Over here, we have a rug that's kind of dividing up the living and the bedroom. This has a coffee table and a sofa that folds out into a bed. You've also got your TV over here on the wall. We've got several windows. So these are both windows right here and these are windows right here. We have a bed with storage and end of the bed storage. So let me show you what it would look like in 3D. To see it in 3D, you just click right up here, okay? And then you can use your mouse to navigate in and out or sliding it around with your mouse, okay? I'm gonna go back in the house. <laughs> That's looking at it from a different view. So I just love being able to see what the space would look like in 3D. Okay, so we have our coffee table there with lots of storage. That sofa would flip over and turn into a bed. So now we're in our kitchen area. I love that window, adding light wherever possible. So this would be a um, example of what your house might look like. Some things to consider are plumbing. So some tiny homes are designed dry, which means they do not have plumbing. And that would be like the example we see in our video, I think. She's in Alaska where the pipes would be um, freezing. So they use other methods of getting water. Um, and if you were wanting to go cheaper on your build, then a dry cabin or a dry tiny home would be fine. This particular one, it has plumbing. So you wanna to try to keep the plumbing close by. That's why I have the bathroom next to the kitchen so that all the plumbed areas, all the water is in one side of the home, okay? So now I'm coming back out of the bathroom area and just looking in towards the living room slash bedroom area. This particular uh, tiny home, I did not do a kitchen space or a, sorry, a dining space, but my plan would be just to sit in at the living room area and eat on the couch. So um, there's so many possibilities for you to design with this space. Um, if you choose to put a loft area in, let me go back to my plain view here and show you. If you plan to put a loft area in, say for example, you want some stairs leading up above the bedroom, maybe a second bedroom above there then just come down to the area below your house and draw out another room. And I will understand what that means. So that is that would be the design for the loft for the area above it. There's no perfect way to do that in this particular house. So that's just the best way that I have found to do it so far. So guys, my goal for you with this project is to have fun. I want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to be creative. But I also want you to be thinking ahead towards interior design. Is using a program like this enjoyable to you? Even though it may be stressful at times because it doesn't do exactly what you want, did you overall enjoy the process? Do you enjoy space planning and think about how thinking about how homes are laid out? Do you enjoy the design process and thinking about all of the aesthetic features, all the color schemes, all the styles of furniture and accessories to add? If you enjoyed that process, consider taking interior design in the future. I'm gonna show you real quick the actual lesson on Canvas just to make sure you're on the right page. So you should start out the project. You should have already done this where you watched um, some video clips that explain the concept of tiny houses. And then you should have also come up with a digital dream board. Now your dream board can change because some of the features in HomeStyler will not match what you have selected on your dream board. That's okay. It was just to give you an idea and give you like a vibe or a feeling that you were going for. 
Okay, this is where we're at today. We were on that link where you went to the 